I'm in the car on my way to work and I just decided to film the beginning of this video if you watched my last video um, my pochette accessoire unboxing then you know that I was talking about um, trying out some drugstore makeup products but I kind of wanted to shoot how I look in the morning versus um, when I get home I will be doing another unboxing I'm and I will um, show you guys how I look towards the end of the day. And then we gotta compare, I need to compare it to, and these videos will help me compare it to like, you know, I love my Dior and my regular um, beauty products. So today I have on a lip gloss that I'm trying to that um, I was influenced to purchase by Andrea Rene. And this lip gloss is an Essence lip gloss extreme shine and usually i like a little bit of color on my lips but um a little more color i should say because it's a very light um pink and then i'm wearing the covergirl pressed powder and i have on um uh, oh well i brought my winky Lux, which this is a um a lipstick i don't know if you guys have tried this but it's a sheer lipstick so i wore it yesterday but it gave me a little bit more color than um, the one that I'm currently wearing. So I brought both of them. My um, NYX setting spray, but I've used that for a while. So I know that I really like that um, compared. I mean, I feel like it's comparable to my either Fix Plus or All Night, All Nighter setting spray. Um, I don't really see a difference with those, but I feel like I, it also could be because I use like either my Dior powder or the Gucci powder or whatever powder with that. So that's why I'm trying to use more like drugstore. And then I have on, I believe it's a Maybelline mascara, which I've been wearing for a while. And again, I always um, wear drugstore mascaras. The only time I wear um, a, like a Benefit or MAC or anything like that is like I told you guys, the 21 Days of Beauty is going on. So that's the only time I'll really purchase those. But anyways, this is how my face looks. Um, so <laughs> later on when I get home from work, I'll check back in with you guys. We'll do another unboxing. Remember, this is my um, birthday unboxing. I'm like looking guys like, <laughs> did she get all the gray hairs? <laughs> uh, my birthday month. So I've been making um, a few special unboxings this month just to make it a little more fun and interesting. Anyways, I'll bring you guys along for those. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll check back in um, soon. I'm back to check in. So this is a full face of drugstore products. Um, earlier I was talking to you guys about it. So this morning um, you guys saw me check in before I went to work. I was in the car. Um, so I went to work. That was around, oh my gosh, I didn't even say what time it was. I believe it was around 6.30 and 6 30 a.m and now it is approximately 9 18 p.m um so i went i've come home made dinner um cleaned up my kitchen i went to the gym i need to uh you know i'm trying my goal at least walking 30 minutes a day even if i'm like dead tired from working all day because i have a job where i'm pretty much on my feet all day and then i get home and i'm like okay at least walk for 30 minutes i think i went to the gym for about 45 50 minutes today um because i was just tired i couldn't stare master i was like no thank you so anyways this is pretty much my face and like i was telling you guys earlier i normally right now i'm using um the gucci face powder and a lot of people said it has like a perfume like a scent and it does and i normally buy everything fragrance free but i actually don't mind it i actually like it um to tell you the truth and it didn't break me out or anything but you know it's the summer and it's super hot um, every once in a while, I'll use my Dior um, face and body. It's more like like a foundation um, because I do have I did use a powder in that, and I really like that. I want to say that I like that more than the Gucci, but I don't know because I really like the Gucci as well. At first, I didn't like the smell, but I guess it's grown on me, and now I don't mind it so much. Um, but they're both good. But um, I'm always watching Andrea Renee and different YouTubers, and they're talking about drugstore products. And so I wanted to pick up, you know, pink is my favorite color. And I've been wanting to try this or just buy it because it's pink, you know, anything that's pink and cute, I'm sold. And so I picked up the CoverGirl um, Clean and Fresh. It's like a powder. I don't wear, like it's 
triple digits right now. So um, this is my face all day. You guys saw me this morning. I'm a little oily, but with the um, Dior, with the Gucci or MAC, that's the, another one that I wear consistently. Um, probably more than the Dior and Gucci powders are recent that I've purchased those, but the MAC, I've been wearing that for years. But even with that, at the end of the day, after going to work, you know, all day, eight hours, coming home, dinner, cleaning kitchen, gym, you know, this is how I'm gonna look, like my T-zone, I'm just a little bit oily, I'm tired, you know, you can see it. So, um, but, so I don't think it's bad. I think it looks the same as any of those other products. Um, and like I said, I used this. I also used the um, NYX, and I've used this before. Can't stop, won't stop. And this is like a little bit lighter than I like to use. I had a darker one that I was using and um, I ran out of it. So I've been using this, but then I've been using two that I went to Target the other, well, not the other day because these are actually pretty much empty. Um, maybe about, uh, I don't know, a month or so ago. because I've been wanting to try them out and I had purchased, or I tried to purchase the Maybelline Fit Me powder before, but it was sold out. This is the loose finishing powder. Normally I wear the Laura Mercier and I really like it. And I actually like the um, lighter color. The darker color I really don't like. I don't know if it's just the, uh, consistency I don't know whatever they put in it to tint it a little bit but I do like the lighter I don't know if it's translucent shade but this is the um Maybelline fit me powder in medium deep and I really do like this and to brighten it up like if I'm wearing like I used to wear two concealers a darker and a lighter but if I'm just wearing a darker one um I also have been using this NYX mineral matte finishing powder I've been using both of them because I feel like it's it's hot right now we're sweating my t-zone gets really sweaty and uh there's maybe like a little bit in this very little and then this one is pretty empty this is done but i have two other ones so i haven't tried these ones yet and i'll probably try them in the morning with the fit me i bought purchased this essence um the only other thing that i've ever tried from essence is this um oh i didn't even know this was extreme plumping I never even noticed that. This is a lip, a uh, volume lip gloss. And I have full lips. I don't ever purchase plumping. Maybe I'll ask my daughter if she wants it. I wore this this morning and I didn't even notice it. So this was the one that I had on. Um, I just like the color. Didn't know it was extreme plumping. But um, the next thing I'm gonna try from this essence uh, is this. This is banana. The banana powder it's a banana powder so it's a brighten up powder um and then i also have the elf hd sheer powder so let me know if you've tried any of these these two i haven't opened because i've been using the the fit me and the nyx so the nyx is pretty much done it's an empty and like i said i don't notice any difference um i usually use the laura mercier i guess it's been a while since I've used it. Let me go ahead and use it and then come back and let you guys know. Um, and I always use it with MAC, but lately I've been using it with the Gucci powder, like I said. So these are gonna be the next two that I'm gonna try. So I just wanted to try a lot of their stuff. And then I, I haven't opened this, but this is a tinted lip balm also from CoverGirl um, that I also picked up. And so I haven't even opened this one. I'll open this as well. I was saying that, um, as I stated before, as far as mascaras, I've always used, uh, the drugstore ones. The only time I do purchase like a Benefit or a Mac or anything like that is, um, during the 21 days of beauty because they're half off and I purchased a lot of them and that's going on now, Ulta. So I'm going to be sharing what I've purchased. Let me know if you guys are purchasing. I just per made a purchase this morning because um, my mom actually really likes the Juice Beauty and they had some stuff that was 50% off this morning. And so I picked up a few things and some other stuff that she hadn't tried before. Um, she's just now getting into like that um, skincare and um, the day and night creams. And so she's just been religiously using those. And so I bought some other ones, like I said in a previous video, her birthday is coming up in December. And so Christmas and that, I'm already looking, trying to um, stock up on Christmas gifts. I also went to Sephora. So I don't know, I only picked up a couple of things from Sephora. I don't know if you guys have went in there and they have that new thing where um, they will take a picture of you or they'll scan, I think it's like a scan and it'll tell you like all of your different shades. So I went in, I just wanted to see how it was, if it really worked. Um, 
I have always worn the MAC powder and my sister-in-law and other people have always sworn by the Sephora powder. Um, the last Sephora item that I picked up was another Andrea Renee influence and she talked about the Sephora um, translucent powder. Now I tried it and I thought it was okay. Like it was just okay for me. Um, again, I could try it again. It wasn't bad. I think Sephora, it was like a few months ago, the beginning of the summer had a good sale. So I ended up picking it up. But like I said, the Fit Me powder, I mean, I feel like it was just as good. Like the Sephora powder was just fine. I really do like the Laura Mercier. That's the only powder that I've worn that I see a difference in other powders, like this one or the Sephora one. Um, I haven't tried like a MAC translucent or anything else. That's pretty much the only one I did purchase. And you know what? I really feel like it's like the consistency of uh, the materials used in the products because I did, what was it? Beauty Bakery. I purchased their translucent powder one time and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And I actually had it sitting there for a long time. I tried it out, didn't like it. Then recently I was completely out and I was like oh you know I, I was forced to try it and I actually really liked it and I'm like okay so I'm thinking maybe it was it didn't like it it didn't um really work well with the mac but when I tried it out with the I don't know if it was the deorder powder or the gucci powder at the time it actually works better so I just feel like it just depends on the products because some products don't really mesh well together whereas others do so anyhow um so when I went to Sephora, I wanted to pick up a concealer and I asked her about, I've tried the Sephora um, concealer and I like it, but I wanted to try the NARS because I don't remember, I remember Jackie Ina talking about this forever and every time I would go in to get, they, um, get it, they didn't have my color or I'd forget. So I, I just purchased the smaller one. Um, the color they matched me is it says medium to dark too and it's caramel um i've tried it already the only thing i didn't like about it is it's a little light like i said i like to wear two and so i usually like to have like a little bit darker and then i'll use a second one to um, brighten or lighten it up this one i feel like it looks a little bit light but when i put it on it's not bad especially with the fit me powder um it's fine I think I've only worn it one time and so, so far it's on. My absolute favorite concealer though is the um, the MAC. And I did try the ELF, thank you Andrea Renee, because she said it was like similar to the MAC. And um, the only thing I don't like about the MAC, it's the one that has a little pump. It's so much of the product gets stuck in there. And I literally had to watch a YouTube video on how to open that. I had to get my husband to get one of his um, tools and like pliers, I think is what they called, I don't know. And like literally open it so that I can get the product in there. So I have not purchased it. The last concealer I used from MAC was not the one that I normally get. And I can't even think of the name of it, but it was a different one that had a similar uh, wand like this one where you just not like a pump I just had a little wand and so I've been using that one but that is my all-time favorite as far as drugstore concealers I've tried a few the elf one was fine I don't feel like I was in love with it but I didn't hate it you know so I don't really have a favorite anymore the MAC one kind of turned me off because it's like just the whole mechanism like you're wasting so much money there's so much money. and then it will dry out quickly if you take it apart the way I had to and so I don't know it was a whole hot mess so I was just like you know what you know mac i am just done with these so i tried the other one and it was fine it i didn't like it as much but i have not tried that's one thing i haven't tried dior or um gucci and i've heard people talk about them, is their concealers and to tell you the truth um to a day a full day if i have like a lip gloss a lipstick a concealer and some mascara i'm good you know so that's something that i absolutely if you had a, if i had to pick one product that i want all the time i'd rather have concealer so anyhow, so I think that was it. Like I said, um, I am waiting on some stuff. I have a few things, but I'm waiting for another order from the 21 Days of Beauty. And then I'll probably wait closer to the end and see if there's anything else. I don't think there's too many other things that I wanted to get. I really wanted those eyebrow pencils I told you about Benefit. I got those. And the Juice Beauty stuff from my mom, I got that today, actually. I don't know what, what they have coming up tomorrow. I usually, um, there was one other thing I wanted today that I was at work and I remembered like midday and so a lot of stuff was sold out. Usually I order um, first thing in the morning. Anyways, but before I let you go, let's 
ado our unboxing i told you this is my birthday month and i have been shopping so next month uh -uh, you know definitely no shopping um we're gonna have to be saving 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 again today we have another lp unboxing and this i actually purchased online and picked up in the store this is something i've been wanting and i know that they do this on purpose because it was sold out sold out sold out and then during my no buy month, of course, I look, you know, just checking and it says it's in stock and I'm like, what? And so I try to put it in my cart and then it says that, um, that it's unavailable, but then it still says it's in stock and I keep refreshing and refreshing. And then of course, like it pops up the message if you want to chat with an advisor and I'm like, Hey, so why does this bag say that it's in stock? But when you try to put it in the cart, it says that, um, it's unavailable and so then they of course they tell me that um i can order it for you and i'm just like uh you know then you're stuck and i'm just like okay i've been wanting it so and that's what i get for stocking the website even though i'm not supposed to be buying anything guys i'm not supposed to be buying anything and so anyhow let's see what i purchased and then i'll tell you guys about what i was going to get i was undecided between two bags and this is the one that I ended up getting. Okay, I'm so excited to carry this. So, so it comes in its little dust bag. Ooh, do you guys think you know what it is? Inside we just have, oh, what is this? It's kind of thick. Oh, it looks like they gave me, oh, this is one of their, um, the book, the LV book. Oh this like I don't know if they would refer to this as a catalog or what but I like it I'll be the book oh so that was nice I thought this was gonna be like the information and I'm like wait this is not my like receipt and everything it's kind of big what is the, oh it's inside the bag I was gonna say it's my bag where is that <laughs> although I've you know I've been purchasing these things and having them so I'm gonna say I like this to put it either in my room behind me right here or oh yeah down or downstairs hmm. oh so that was nice if I threw that in here let's open the bag so when I went to go pick up this bag my sister actually went with me because her never full the um strap started fraying I did not know I like I know that they do like um repairs but I didn't know they charge you they were charging her I want to say it's my receipt $350 because of course only one was a thank you card Ooh, and it says happy birthday <laughs> but um of course, they uh, recommend that you do both because you don't want to have one brand new strap and the other one kind of looks, you know, older. And I was like, that's kind of expensive. I don't know. I get, you know, because I want to make sure my hands are clean. But I'm just as much money as you spend. I would think that, and I don't think her bag, I think she bought it around the same time I did. And I've had, because I had an older Neverfull, um, a monogram that I sold and I decided to get the lighter one the azure the azure um and I absolutely love that color but still I don't I think I maybe had it three four years and I don't know I'm just saying for the price and I know she doesn't really carry that bag a lot she uses a lot the little pouch that comes inside I am the opposite I don't carry my nerveful that much but I hardly ever carry the pouch and I do keep the pouch for my other never full so I have to that I don't really carry um because I don't really you know I'm more like a bigger bag or small bag not kind of in the middle but I just thought that was like what do you guys think like I just think that was kind of expensive and I understand it's luxury but I don't know was it three maybe less I don't know it's not I know it's not more than four years so I was like oh that is kind of a lot but I guess you're paying for luxury and I didn't even know that they charge for repairs because I have a wallet that I need to have the little red button changed on it and I forgot it that day and then I went back to the mall um, in Orange County and I still forgot it. I'm just like, huh. But I did at least want to ask them how much it was for that repair but I didn't get a chance. But anyways, are you ready? So I've already taken it out in 
it is the yes the palm springs mini so when i was there and thank goodness they asked me do you want us to put the straps on and i was gonna say no but i was yeah and the girl that was helping me like she had to call someone else she totally didn't know how to adjust the straps and everything so i think they're adjusted and i just have to add them on you guys know that i love going to disneyland and i've been wanting a backpack and i really wanted to buy the gucci uh, Disney backpack and I went to the um, Cabazon the outlets and they had it but it was so expensive it was like I want to say it was 18 around you know two grand and I was like mm, for an outlet bag I don't know and I've been really wanting this one and then I was like but I'm gonna want to use it more than just at Disneyland so do I really want I ended up getting the Gucci Disney wallet because I mean I carry that all the time I um, still want a Gucci backpack, but I have a different one on my wish list now that it was a little bit, well, not a little bit, I want to, maybe $500 less than this, but I went ahead and got this already because as I said, and for, um, it was a gift and my mom usually will go half with me on these, <laughs> on the bag that I want for my birthday. So I went ahead and got this one now. I think I'll probably end up purchasing the Gucci one maybe um and a few months from now because that is just one thing that i don't have in my collection i did not have um any backpacks and it's so funny that we're talking about that because today i was watching um i can't think of her name right now and i love watching her videos uh ah, um but i just had totally had a brain freeze but she was just talking about um the Prada backpack, the Prada nylon backpack. And I'm like, I have my Prada nylon bag. Like I literally have to force myself to carry a different bag because I carry that bag all the time. Like I love that bag. So easy to clean. Like, I mean, it, granted a lot of people think that it's expensive for the material, which it is. But I mean, I feel like that you, for me personally, I've gotten the cost per wear. I constantly, and I don't like to wear designer bags to work, but I wear that bag because I mean, I feel like I flip it around people don't know and I don't know I just I'm obsessed with that bag I love that bag and I wear that bag almost and it goes with so much and I take either I take the crossbody strap out and just have the chain or wear it crossbody I just feel like it's really versatile and it goes with a lot especially um with my style I feel like it just matches a lot of my outfits so I'm I love that backpack and I'm like I never even thought about the Prada one but I still think that I'm gonna keep the Gucci one on my wish list but anyways this Prada this Palm Springs mini talking about the Prada bag I have just been watching so many videos when I want something I obsess over it I've been watching a ton of videos about what can fit in it maybe I'll do a what fits in my bag I'm actually going to Disneyland soon for my birthday and so I'm just excited to wear this I will let you guys know um, the other day I was at the mall and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't unboxed my bag and I saw someone with the one and I'm like, oh, just so excited. Um, I've heard so much about a lot of people don't use this little pocket here, but this inside, it looks like it'll fit more than what I carry. Like my sunglasses, my keys, my wallet, more than enough room and even a small water bottle. So I am super, super, super excited. Can't wait to show you guys my next unboxing and like I said, October. Mm -mm, she's done it's a wrap <laughs> but anyways thank you guys for stopping by don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know if you guys have been shopping the Ulta sell I can't wait to share with you guys what I've picked up see if we picked up any of the same things also let me know what do you guys think about the Palm Springs mini but anyhow let me know if you guys have been um have what you guys have on your wish list and what purchases you've been making or you've made recently. Again, I can't wait to check back in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.